calmness greets you upon exiting the submersible. Unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. It seems most of the hostages from the throne share your fate. I'm still anxious about Shadowheart, though. I'm anxious about Shadowheart! We actually All right, made it. we're good to go. Say goodbye to Cap and come up the hatch when you're ready. Save? I just hope I can revive Shadowheart. Okay, Will, your father is right here. I'll get to your camp. We'll talk there. Okay. Missouri's tote's gonna kill you, but sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I saved nine frickin' people. I will take my win. Listen, lass. Only a special sword could have done what you did. Thank you. I tried. Very well. You were so heroic. My word. I can't wait to tell Scorv what happened. God, I hope he's all right. If he ain't on the submersible, he ain't all right. What's up for discussion? What they were doing with us was horrid. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome, Carly. Deedle. Oh, that was amazing. Like one of them old hero stories. Thank you. Ogro. It's free. He's a free elf. Free. House elf. No free elf. Hmm. My sincerest thanks, friend. Malona Randall. I don't know what possessed you to find us in that place, but I am surely glad you did. You can thank the Grand Duke for getting himself imprisoned there. <laughs> My lady, your act of valor will go down in Gondian history. Okay, so these are Gondians. Right, all of them. Still hurts. For some of them. But thank you. You're welcome. And you seem like the ringleader, Abelia. Because you're I not just, seated. I, I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. There were so many of us scattered through that place. I know. To save so many was... I'm sorry. It was brilliant. Just brilliant. We were kept hostage to control our families and the Steel Watch Foundry. To keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. So I have they helped have myself no at the foundry? Yes. Anymore. If they rebel, it'll yes. put a dent in Gortash's steel mine. Do you have a name of someone I should be looking for? All right, I will help the foundry workers rebel. Gone smiles on me this day. Thank you. Okay, so other than Orin and the, the murder, tri murder tribunal, I've done things in a pretty decent order. Okay, my lunch is literally going cold though, so I guess we have to save here on the submersible and I super, super, super hope that I can get Shadowheart back uh, from with us. I'm assuming she could because her portrait is still here. If people were dead permanently, like when Will got killed by Mizora in the video I watched, um, his portrait just disappeared. So I'm thinking that we're all good. I bloody hope so, otherwise I may just cry. I refuse to have Shadowheart die permanently. Oh boy, the exhilaration. I just scoffed my food down super quickly because I want to get a piece of this. Let's go. Seems simple enough. I'll save you. Sorry, that was like super loud. What about it's your saver? It's finally over. We're uh, safe. Where are you going there, Red Hammer? Real or not? I will chase you down Ooh, to the end of the earth, sir. What a ride. <laughs> I won't forget it anytime soon. And Cap neither. Good for you. I might have underestimated you before. Won't do that again. Thanks for the adventure. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. The Iron Throne is destroyed. This will have angered Gortash, who is now unlikely to uphold his end of the bargain. <gasps> oh, the Steel Watch are coming for me. I think I have to beeline it for the Steel Watch. <sighs> That's a problem. That's a big problem. We need to lead him to safety. Yeah, he's gonna see us at our camp. Yep, okay. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know how this is gonna work at all. Is Missouri just gonna permanently try to kill him now? Or are we free because we step. rescued him? Fate, dost thou require a new ally? 
Or mayhaps a resurrection. Then thou must return with the proper payment. This is the price of balance. Well, can Actually, they can just stay dead. <laughs> I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. This is about to get big and violent. Okay, keeping distance. By doom Oopsies. and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. With full HP? What an absolute champ. Anointed in splendor. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. I mean, you were literally just dead, but hey, if you want to just burn it off, go for it. I'm not going to be dead. Ah, the Duke is setting up shop here, and Missouri is still here. Ah, uh, awkward. Super awkward. This cannot go well. Missouri is not going to let him live. I think this is just a sense of false hope. I'm not going to be able to keep him alive. Oh, yet he is considered an ally. Really? First you cleave my really? heart in twain. Now you shatter it to pieces. Yeah, well, you deserve to leave above. A monster. Oi, 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 oi. Beyond recognition. Don't be like that. Think my blood flows through those veins. Bro, is I'm about to backhand you. Hey, Minsk. To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours. I'm going to backhand you. Think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city. To chase the she devil and her You told him to leave. She stinks up the place even now. You told him to exactly leave. What I think. I didn't seem very happy. Um, your son sacrificed his soul to save yours. He had no choice. Will's devoted his life to protecting the coast. He's used his power wisely. I'm beginning to think we should have let you drown. Yeah, I'm really getting that opinion. Call on the parasite. Connect with father and son. Raven guard should know the truth. <sighs> I don't know what calling on the tadpole is the best idea, but it seems the quickest solution. Raven God's mm. tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears rose. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to He Baldur's never took the explanation on that. Everything beyond. He just immediately the told Will to get out, so that's good that he knows that now. path to Moonrise, the astral prison, and the Emperor within. Will, ooh, everything ooh, I did, ooh, I did for good. Baldur's Gate. I did for you. It's the truth, Raven Guard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. Why is Minsk here? Can I just ask? Is he for backup? It's time you two made up. I've got a city to save. <laughs> I bet you feel like a real bastard right now. <laughs> My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the hell's eternal fire so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? At least he's There's seen reason to forgive. now. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most. And a better son than I deserve. <clears throat> I'll yet make amends, but... I don't know how to make him less devilly. My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Y yes. I. G g I've got to still watch to dismantle because they're gonna kill me on sight because my uh, agreement with Gortash is null and void. So, um, do you mind if it takes a back seat to to the still watch? I like living. Before I was captured. I was on a mission. Who are you now? Returning from Elturel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. Why were you in Elturel? I didn't despair. Because the city has a secret guardian. A worm that sleeps beneath. 
He can be called upon in times of great need. Dragon. This is such a time. Pretty sure I've read about this in the Baldur's Gate campaign guide. You've been trained in the of the great champions mm. and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him I'm out. I'm gonna meet a dragon? A worm. Are you saying there's a dragon living under the city? What lessons do you mean? Making a dragon doesn't sound like a good idea. A bronze yeah. dragon, yes. Bronze. I can't remember his colour. <laughs> I thought he was gold, but now. bronze, yeah. Awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Answer. Yeah, I've read about him. <laughs> the waiting storm. Not in relation to the, the game, in relation to Baldur's Gate. Gate, the city. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened. But just the once. Since then, ah. the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now. Who we dictate that now is, is the greatest oh, okay, threat. Well, there you go. I say, like, who would dictate this is the best faced. time for it? <laughs> the worm must be awakened. And the task falls to you. That, mm. Take this. The Wait, is this part of Will's quest? Of Lay of the Frontiers. An ancient epic. Ill remembered. Dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Okay, the thing you got to think about is, so Ansa can only help Baldur's Gate once, which seems a bit odd. You'd think that, you know, if you're sleeping underneath the city, you'd want it to stay alive so people don't kill you underneath the city. But that's a moot point. If he can only save the city once, you've got to really realize and think about whether your current need is desperate enough to use that one get out of jail free card. Because if you use it, then for all future generations, they don't have access to that resource anymore. What happens if you use the dragon and then find out that you could have dealt with it yourself? You're depriving the future generations of help. Devil's advocate, as always. Uh, wouldn't you rather wake the dragon yourself? I don't think you put much faith in himself at this point. Your faith in Will is well founded. We will seek the worm and ask for his help. Ah, so this is part of uh, Will's quest. Will, what do you make of this? Please, you're staking the city's future on a fairy tale. It's a great fairy tale. Let the dragon sleep. We'll deal with the absolute on our own terms. Baldur's Gate stands on the brink of the abyss. My father was clear. We awaken the worm and take back the city. Will, you are more valorous than Baldur and himself. May the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravengard. Pride of Baldur's Gate. I have a question. Actually, more importantly, I have a concern. The last time I went and rescued some mystical being, the bitch cut me off access for Act 2 and went and stormed the fucking castle. I know it's tower, but you understand my, my sentiment. If I go and free this dragon, or rouse this dragon, is he going to do the exact same thing as Avil, whatever her name was? Is he going to immediately go to said Elder Brain and just like make me skip content? Because I'm pretty pissed that it ended up doing that in Act 2. I don't care that it warned me, the warning was not explicit enough, I did not understand what I was agreeing to. I'm afraid that if I go after the dragon I will have the same predicament. But at the same time, I don't want to leave it too late so that I don't get the chance to wave the dra uh, wake up the dragon. So like if I go to after Gortash first and then do the dragon, is it going to be too late because the Netherstone's already in my possession and we've roused the Elder Brain's anger by freeing him unintentionally by getting the Nathan Netherstone. And then I can't do the dragon. Or can I do the dragon before Gortash? Like, I the order of this is so... What happened to my inventory bar? What is... What is this clusterfuck? Um, yeah, so I have concerns. Did the game update or something? Or is it just because I'm at camp? This, I've never even seen that before. Okay, well, he is here. Yay, go team. Read the Legend of Ansur. Okay. Read it, I shall. Or in a feed we can find you. Oh my god. Are you going to keep hounding me? Halzen, I've spoken to you. You're all right. Why does it keep hounding me? Oak Father preserve you. And you. 
Yo, you still enjoying life? The city, you mean? With all its still, though. The city and still all that I wish. <laughs> Listen to me. Preaching like an init Yes. I hope so. Cool, great. Can it please stop telling me about that quest that's already completed? Did you always have to stand in a line? It's uncanny. Okay, we'll talk to Will. And I'll read the book first and then I'll talk to Will. Okay, how big is this book gonna be? Well, it's got more than one page, shall we say. The Legend of Ansur. Was it Ansur or Ansur? I missed his pronunciation on it. Baldur's Gate, Great Baldurin's Birth. Obaldoran founded due veneration. His guardian dragon answer a tremendous in worth, a savior below our eternal elation. To worm way neath prison's deepest level, to be found by not a soul nor devil. That really doesn't tell me where he is. Note, entrance in Worm's Rock Prison. Wait, we know there's an entrance into Worm Rock's prison. We know this because we had a note about it. I think I've gotten rid of it by now. With a lightning shock, a true hero's spark flickers. The torches are light. Does it have to be lightning? Because I excel at that shit. And Worm's eyes shall awake a glitter. Note, something about sparks and torches. Use lightning skills. I'm on it, bro. It's trials no common adventurer makes it. Oh no, that does not bode well. When each day sends forth new ones to their fates, but one great hero by the founders will decreed shall only once grant our age the heart of the gates. Only a great hero can pass the trials and awaken answer. It has been read. What's this of a true hero spark? We just use electricity, honey. That's our absolute skill. Find the entrance to Ansor's layout the Worm Way. The entrance is apparently located somewhere within Worm Rock's prison, and the notes inside it hint that opening the way involves lightning sparks and torches. Oh, I can't see shit from here. That sucks. Okay. I still think the Steel Watch is a priority because I literally cannot traverse the city at all and I need to, like, sell shit. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansor, the heart of the gate. Ansor. Oh, Baldurin. Founder due veneration. His guardian dragon Ansur, tremendous Ansur. in worth. Ansur. A savior below our eternal elation. It's an incredible tale. What do you make of it? I can't believe you're taking this dragon poem seriously. How about translation? I don't speak bard. It'd be funny if I were a bard. It's not just a tale, it's a history. Consider this to worm way neath prison's deepest level. That must mean Worm's Rock Prison. That's where we'll find the entrance to this Worm Way. Then this. With the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torches are light, and Worm's eye shall awake a glitter. To open the way, we'll need to spark torches. This dragon, Ansor, was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the Dead Three's chosen raised the city. Well, there's only one left, but okay. <laughs> Reunited with your father, how does it feel, Will? It's complicated. There's the joy of reconciliation, the relief of forgiveness, and the anxiety of new expectation. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to make sense of it. Focus on the joy, you've restored family ties, re-established a deep bond. Focus on the relief, finally your father knows the truth. Focus on expectation, it's a powerful motivating force. Hmm. Joy. To my father, I was only ever a boy. Incredible that he can see the man I became. Yeah, once I'm all happy this for is you. Ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well, only time will tell. Okay. My favorite subject. Yeah, but this is really boring. I can't do anything with you. I was promised more than this in this game and I'm feeling very deprived, Will. Very deprived. Okay, well, there's no need to uh, long rest. We just need to short rest. Oh, time to get going. And y'all are fine. Great, we continue. I... I Let's leave camp, because then we can safely pick a spot on the... No, I can't safely pick a spot on the map. Shit. 
Where is a safe place that I'm not going to be accosted immediately? By the watch. I don't have a fast travel point over there. Shit. Ah. Because I need to get here. Does it tell me where Wormstock Prison is? I literally don't even know where that is on the map. Or is that the place back at Worms Crossing? I don't know. Anyway, that's a problem for later. Maybe I should have gone to Flim's Cargo. No, because there's... <sighs> there's Steel Watch everywhere. What happens if I get seen by the Steel Watch? Maybe the mouth doesn't get paid for coverage. If they were I should have gone from Flim's Cargo, but I've already teleported out. I can't go back. What do you mean? What else is down? Okay, what kind of range I can I get into Magic. with the steel watch? Because there's one right there. Oh god, do they just circle? Oh my word. Where are they going? Stranger things have happened in Baldur's Gate is all I'm saying. I'm probably being like overprotective and there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. Like they they don't they won't even attack me and we'll be fine. I'm probably overreacting. Almost coming to blows over a pebble. A pebble? What's this city coming to? What are you talking about? What's happening here? Boulder's mouth was singing your praises, wasn't it? Indeed it was. But every day I meet someone famous. Oh, lucky you, Tilman. Tilman, Tilman. Wind's got saw you in the broadsheet. Oh, did you know? It's a change from them fawning over Lord Gortash. Yeah, that it does. Oh, God. They really have closed off the docks. Hmm. We can cut through the park, I think. Whose place is this? The Lodge. The Lodge of the Society of <gasps> The Society of Brilliance! Isn't that where Esther is from? How's my little... Oh, hello. How's my little Githyanki doing? Well, I mean, it's still an egg. Time isn't exactly past. We're pleased to inform you that your thesis on the study of the representation of deep gnomes in mid-century drow literature has been proved for publication pending the below changes. 36 pages of annotations follow! Oh my god! I don't know what you think gives you the rights to set up shop in our fine city, but Baldur's Gate doesn't want you here. Go back to the Underdark of the Absolute, where it is you come from, and stop bringing your mind flaying nonsense into our city. What the hell is going on in this joint? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. What a scene. Whoever did this had no rhyme or reason. Just viciousness. Hi. Might be useful. That's Dormitory key. Okay. I'll just take the thing. So if no one's gonna concern themselves with anything. Okay. Should we just close the doors, guys? Who are you? Havla Haklavak. Oh my god, why is my inventory Perfect. like this? What am I needed? Yours are all fine. Oh, thank so god for that. I was like, why is mine fucked? It's so not fair. One day I'll catch a break. Mm, invasion plans, lots of invasion plans. Marks, morsel. Yeah. What is happening to this place? All of my hypotheses are just that theories and no more, unless I can test them under control. Conditions. I need a viable Kithyanki egg. I must acquire one somehow. Or oh, Hak Hav Kalag is not a serious researcher, just a mere intellectual dil dilettante. Yeah, but Esther brought one here, did she not? Raven Hollow. Dearest N. Rahel, I think you knew this was coming. If you find this note, I've already gone. I tried everything you suggested, but the call of the Graven Hollow Library grew too strong. I know you'll be angry with me, but I know that underneath that anger will be the worry, so I'm writing to tell you. Don't worry about me. I trust in the library to guide my way. 
After all, what better visitor can it have than one whose intent is pure as mine? And what are we if not explorers of the vast knowledge of the Underdark? Wait, so Gravenhall is a library in the Underdark? Oh, how I wish I could have convinced you to come with me. But failing that, know that I am fully intent on returning to you in one piece. I won't ask you to wait for me. I only carry hope in my heart that you will. With all my love, Dunil. Is Dunil the dwarf? Dwerga? No, it wouldn't be a dwerga, never mind. It's been a long time since I've done the Underdark. Please do not move the painting from the attic. Whoever previously did so, your actions trapped the professor in the hidden room. Painting in the attic. Roger that. I know the ropes are like heavy per se, but still. I don't want to be carrying them. That's great. Oh my god, what am I carrying? It's the fucking gold again! Why does this keep happening? In fact, even that's too much. Should I hurt? There we go. I'm feeling a lot lighter. My face protects me. Very good looking. What to do? Okay, upstairs. We are to move a painting. Time to press ahead. Is S did S even make it back here? Oh, there's so much of it. So much blood. Oh my god, there's a portal? A portal to where? Do I want to know? Is a good question to ask. Oh, this is your little library. Pronunciation of common for monstrous species. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even read the entire title. I'll give it a shot. That's all we can ask. Oh my word. And that's about nature versus nurture. Yep. Now, is this the attic? Would you consider a hollow the back. attic? 14. Why not? Lime Leech's chest key. A broken parasite jar. Are you telling me that somebody has a bloody parasite in them? Surely not. Surely not. Now where's the attic? Do we get any higher than this? Because there are a lot of paintings here. It's peaceful, isn't it? Peaceful for the moment. Can you please just put it on the floor? I don't think any of these are correct. Why? This one just doesn't want to move. Whatever. Whatever. This doesn't really seem like the, uh... Right place for it, though. Target is blocked by what? This thing? Problem solved. Okay, well, Shouldn't that clearly wasn't the answer. The this really doesn't seem like the... Doesn't seem like the... Attic. But where else is there? There's no way of getting higher. Can't slow down. Here we go. But I'm a little concerned. I mean, the blood seems to lead in that direction. I certainly do. Lady Esther's correspondence. Okay. I don't think I need that anymore. Did 
pronunciation of common for monster species. A guide for pedagogues. Oh, okay, pedagogues, yep. Basic rules of phonics. Vowels. Combining consonants. Practice exercises. Further guidance. Species-specific challenges. Lol. Oh, it wasn't there. Broken parasite jar. The pilgrimage to Graven Hollow. Okay. That's great. Study of orcs. A curiously passionate collection of research notes about orcs. No thanks. To our esteemed colleague of the society, your invitation to present our work at the lodge was gratefully received. A full response will be forthcoming once I have had the opportunity to consult with my colleague, Amelium. Amelu. Well, I'm not even going to try that. Amelum. In the meantime, please consider this note a tentative acceptance with thanks for your interest. I look forward to speaking in person soon. Come regards, Blurg. I don't know anybody mentioned in that. I have named him Tyrus in honour of the Tarian Code under which he will be raised. We've concocted a means to accelerate his growth that we might condense our learnings into a shorter period of time and yield quicker results before the season's end. The child... Are we... Are we assuming that this is the gift child from the egg that you're somehow accelerating his growth on so he's already hatched and reached childhood? Because that's uh, alarming. The child seems to have taken well to the doctrine that is his namesake. He learns fast, with diligence, attentiveness and fierce hunger. I dare say he is the best student I've ever seen in all regards but one. He has a certain rigidity when it comes to interpreting the rules of the code. For example, the other day I squashed a rat in his garters and Tyrus immediately struck me with a blow to the face. When asked why he had done that, he replied, rule number five, honor and protection to the lesser species. But Tyrus, I reasoned, the rat was simply vermin. The gift child replied, first one rat, then the entire species. You did not follow the code. I had no response to this that would satisfy him. My notes languish, but with reason. Terrace's appetite for learning is ferocious, and I'm struggling to keep up. I begin to fear for him. He is obsessive, his indoctrination perhaps now too successful. My own injuries are a testament to the vehemence with which he upholds the code. He believes himself to be absolutely good, but any onlooker would be able to see that this is not the case. He is violent, compulsive, dare I say it, dangerous. But what is still not clear to me is whether this is a result of his own self or his githyanki nature. Will we ever know? I don't know, there's a shitty ass portal right here. Dear Mr. Havkalag, I trust this letter finds you in the best of health and spirits. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lady Esther, a fervent explorer of the world's mysteries and a dedicated enthusiast of the Soul Coast wonders. The purpose of my correspondence today is to share with you a most thrilling discovery. Namely, that I have located an active Githyanki Krish right here in Faerun. Exciting news, I am sure you will agree. However, the path to this discovery was arduous indeed. And I find that I am rather depleted. I am rather depleted. By the moral reserve and supplies. I am sure that someone in your esteemed position is quite familiar with the difficulty involved in infiltrating such a place. And I humbly beseech you to send forth an advance of coin that I might complete your most noble mission. I guess it's what she paid for me. She paid me in. Or with. I eagerly await your response and hope that you will honour my humble request in the service of your seminal work. I don't know about this. Are we about to be surrounded by like a bajillion Githyanki? Who are you? Another who needs to learn the difference between. Oh right my and god, wrong. you grew up so freaking quickly. Youth. And a familiar one at that. Can it be that this is the one who hatched from the egg you took from the crash? I'm Nevea, who are you? What is this place? It's nice to see you again, Githyanki. Are you reasonable, responsible for the massacre? I am Pataris, and I am good. I, anyone who says Father they're good isn't bad. good. They all were. I tried to make them better, but they were not strong enough. He's so narcissistic they and arrogant. Resolve. Was Lady Esther bad too? She did not have the strength. <gasps> Is she dead? She was another like father, lacking in moral fiber. He was not righteous. He was not innocent. His thoughts were impure. But who are you Such to judge what is pure? Be cured one way. 
with pain, with torment, and if that does not work, with death, tell me, are you a good person? Who are you to judge my worth? I like to think so, it depends on how you define good. I'm good at being bad, does that count? I've tried to be, though I've failed often enough, not especially. We're not having this conversation. If you massacre those people, you must pay the price. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where we're going with this, but... There is only one way. The Patarian Code. Do you follow it? No. No, I do not. I follow my gut. That's all anyone can do. No one code can define goodness. It's impossible. Only a bad person would say that. And that's what you are. Yet you have killed many times. It is engraved on your memories. It doesn't match the subtitles. You are a hypocrite. I know what you did to me. I see the memory of it. Right there in your head. You stole me from my people. Gave me to that woman. Unhatched. You were gonna die. There is someone's gonna you absolutely kill you, honey. So father could hurt me. I thought I was saving you. I had no idea what they were planning. I mean, I did, but not to this extent. Um, I should never should have saved you, but I'm happy to rectify the mistake. You would have been destroyed if it were not for me. I saved you. This is correct. There isn't. Fuck me. Would have killed him. <laughs> Seems appropriate. Um, I don't know where I got this inspiration from, but I'll take it. Is it from Minsk? Everyone liking Minsk? Ah, that's still not enough. It's perfectly enough. You were trying to save me. I... I don't understand. Father saved me. I was a nasty, evil thing. But his treatments made me good. No. I, I'm cured. You have issues, kid. You need therapy. He lied to you. No one is born evil. I mean, that's what they sought to find out, didn't they? Good people offer forgiveness to those who sit, not death. Cure to look like a good thing to me. But, but why would he hurt me if I didn't need to be cured? The code is flawed. And I am a monster. As he said I was. Maybe I should have picked the other option. I cannot be trusted. Oh dear. What have I done? I mean, at least he's realizing, but where is this going to go for me? I'm alive. This is a good start. I'm all for living. Uh, and we get some more inspiration. Oh, Esther. Esther, Esther, I Esther. Trust, <sighs> That's heavy. Spider silk armor. We've had that before. Graceful cloth, I've had it before. It's not my favorite appearance. Plate armor. How is she carrying this much armor on her? She's insane. An opportunity from the Spider of Brilliance. A storage estate requires an object most rare upon our plane, the egg of a githyanki. The good sir that retrieves this item, which must be in excellent condition, will be rewarded most handsomely. Terminus is key. Find us knowledge. Okay. So that's why she was getting into contact. I guess we'll take it. Well, it wasn't a peaceful, nurturing environment, was it? That's a lie. have I done? Well, you can continue to ponder that, sir. What? Why is that still there? Weird. I'm leaving. It disappeared and now it's back. That ain't right. Okay, well that's most unfortunate. Most unfortunate indeed. That's, wow, okay, well, I got, just got a lot of people killed, you know, it's fine. 